ladies and gentlemen. This is an update on the Daryl George hair situation down there in Texas. So we know he was suspended twice over his hair. So this was over a two week period. And this is him wearing a natural hairstyle. See, these folks can't dismiss you over your skin, although they still do, but they can't do it openly. So they go after the next best thing, which is our natural hair, but it's the same hateful discrimination at the end of the day. So <clears throat> now he and his mother are suing Texas Governor Greg Abbott and the state attorney for allegedly failing to enforce a state law that prohibits hair discrimination. Daryl George, he's a junior at Barbers Hill High School, and this is a town that is roughly 40 minutes outside of Houston. He's faced numerous in-school suspensions since the 31st of August due to his natural locks. School officials say that George's locks fell below his eyebrows and earlobes. According to local media report, which violates the district dress codes for male students. You know, it's amazing how only black students violate the codes over their hair, but nobody else in the school is violating the code. I don't believe that. You know, I've been up to these schools. I've seen students walking in there with bright red hair, blue hair pink hair, green hair. I've seen that. So I guess that's professional to you, but natural locks are not. So the lawsuit filed on Saturday, this past Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, the Texas Southern District Court argues that Georgia's suspension violates the state's Crown Act banning race-based hair discrimination. George 17 was suspended just before the Texas law went into effect statewide September 1st. Okay, so let's say it did. His suspension started on the 31st. It went into effect on the 1st. This is petty. Whoever is pursuing this, they're petty. And I already saw these uh, decrepit, looking men that are running it down there. And you, you, once you take a good look at them, you'll understand where all this hatred is coming from. For real, you will see it. He has to sit on a stool for eight hours in a cubicle. Daryl's mother, Daresha George, told the Associated Press, that's very uncomfortable. It sure is. It sure is. And <clears throat> every day he'd come home and said his back hurts because he has to sit on a stool. Plaintiffs, Daryl and Daresha George, are seeking an injunction and a temporary restraining order against Abbott and Attorney General Ken Paxton to compel them to stop the district from exposing their students to discriminatory punishment and discriminatory measures due to locks, braids, twists, and other protective styles that are, um, you know, people been wearing these protective styles probably for a, a few centuries now at least in this country. I know these braids and everything goes back thousands of years. You, you know, I know people will come and try to think they're schooling me on this. I, I am fully aware of it. So anyway, the filing comes after the school um, had to clarify to the courts whether the new law prohibits grooming policies, dressing, addressing the length of a male student hair. The student suspension continues to generate questions about the legality of punishment students for their hair and the extent of the newly passed protection laws. Mm -mm -mm. So the Crown Act refers to laws that ban discrimination 
based on their hair texture or protective styles associated with race. First introduced in California in 2019, the act in part bans discrimination against hairstyles that are often associated with race, which can prevent employers, educators, and others from imposing strict rules related to one's physical appearance. Now, they said there is a white student in the, that is walking around with their hair in locks in the same school, and the principal won't do anything about that. He keeps addressing Daryl George, but not this other student. He uses the, the excuse that his hair looks like that because of his religion. Y'all, can you name the religion that white people have that calls for the people involved in that religion to have locks? Write it in the comment section if you know of this religion, because this is what the principal is trying to say. That's why he is protecting that student, but he won't respect the rights of Daryl George. You know, this is just too obvious for real it is. All right, so the Crown Act expanded the definition when it comes to race in California Fair Employment and Housing Act and the state's education code aiming for protection across workplaces in addition to K through 12 public and charter schools, according to the official website for campaign to pass the legislation. Hair discrimination is rooted in systemic racism and its purpose is to preserve white spaces, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund said. Policies that prohibit natural hairstyles like afros, braids, bantu knots, locks, have been used to justify the removal of, back, uh, of Black children from classrooms and Black adults from their employment organizations added. So far, 24 states, along with the U.S. Virgin Islands, have signed the Crown Act into law. You know, isn't that amazing? Our hair is the only hair that needs a law. So anyway, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and Washington. Texas was the 24th state to implement a version of the law, which went into effect September 1st. The legislation has been proposed in 20 additional states and Washington, D.C. Wow, you would figure Washington, D.C. would be one of the first places. Guess not. In March of 2022, the House passed the Crown Act. Yeah, but it didn't in the Senate. It didn't in the Senate. You know, you know sometimes these folks refuse to pass something because they don't want us to have any protection. You know, they know it's a problem, but they don't want to do anything for us. And remember, the Senate is very whitewashed in this country. It does not reflect the country at all. Not at all. So anyway, <clears throat> when the Crown Act was first introduced during the 116th Congress, it passed the House by voice vote without objection. Our fight is far from over. I'm disappointed that, you know, but not defeated. I remain uh, steadfast in my commitment to protect all Americans. Well, all Americans don't have our hair texture. That's the problem with you saying that. It All Americans do not have our hair texture. And we know when these suspensions over the school's dress code, we know these are things in there written against black children. That's what your dress codes are all around this country. 
in schools. So anyway, y'all, I'm glad they lawyered up, you know, I hate that it had to go this extreme, but it seems like that school was never going to leave Daryl George alone. I sure hope they prevail in their case and they won't do this to any more children in the state of Texas or anywhere for that matter, where they have the Crown Act in effect. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.